In this video, we're going to look at three by three digit addition without carrying. So in other words, what if I wanted to add 321 plus 123? What do I do? Well, first I line up so that the one and the three, which represent ones, line up, and the two and the two, which represent two tens and another two tens, line up, and then the three and the one, which represent 300 and 100, they also line up in a column. And this is a nice problem, actually. Even though they're large numbers, we can break it up. We can think of this as 3 plus 1, or 4, and then 2 plus 2, another 4, and then 1 plus 3, which is another 4. So we get 444. Now, when I was going through, in the first column, 1 plus 3 does represent just 1 plus 3. But the second column, 2 plus 2, really represented 20 and 20 and gave us 40. And then lastly here, this 3 and the 1, what do they represent? Well, they represent 300 and 100, which is still 400. But I wanted to point out that with long addition, as the numbers become more complex, you can just think of each column as a digit between 0 and 9, and that might really help you. Let's try another one. What if I did... Uh, 4, 5, 6, plus 3, 4, 1. Well, again, I've lined everything up, so once that happens, I can just think of this as 6 and 3, add them up to get 9, which it is. Here I can think of this as 5 and 4, really 50 and 40, but 5 plus 4 is 9. And here I can think of this as 4 plus 1. It's really 400 plus 100, but I'll think it was 4 plus 1, and then our answer is 599. And why not? Try one more. What if I had, I don't know, 4, 4, 5, 7, 457, plus 3, 3, 2, 332. Well, again, first I add 7 plus 2. That's the first column. And that equals 9. And then I add 5 and 3, or really 50 plus 30, but we can think of it as 5 and 3, because that really just equals 80, or 8, 0. Put that in the tens place. And then we add 4 and 3, really 400 plus 300, but we can think of it as 4 and 3, because that will just give us 700. And we put that in the hundreds place to get our answer of 789. Alright, hope that helps.